Today we have a Pelican 1500 loaded with Sony A7 equipment. I'm going to show you how one way that I have arranged uh, my 1500. What I can get in it and what I can't. For starters I have two flashes. I have this Yang Nuo YN 563 speed light along with a second. I also have the Yang Nuo YN 560 TX manual flash controller, which I really like. Goes along with the flashes. Have a Badass 1.885, a Badass uh, 225, a Voigtlander 15 4.5 with Nova Flex adapter. Also have a Voigtlander 35 1.2 version 2 of the Nocton with the Voigtlander VME close focus adapter. And then the Sony 55 uh, 1.8. Also here I have a camera. I have the Sony A7 Mark II with the 24 to 70 f4 lens and it fits pretty comfortably in there along with uh, just a paddock compartment for some batteries. Always extra, carry extra caps. Another battery. Here's a uh, wall charger, came with the A7R2. And then of course, four extra double A's. So we'll pack this back up real fast. All right, here is, um, here's, here's my one complaint with the system. Now a Sony A7 slides into this really nice. This compartment right here really nice. You can see it looks like it's kind of made for a camera. Uh, the way these come from the from Pelican, this padded insert makes you think it is for a camera, but the camera doesn't fit in there real well. You the extra on the A7 Mark II, you've got this uh, grip that sticks out and that causes some friction. I mean, it's no big deal. It just doesn't slide right in like you'd imagine it. Notice also I have a, a free pouch there. We could actually remove, I mean, I don't know anybody travels with this many lenses. I, I, I normally do not. Uh, but you could take out a lens, uh, two dividers, slide you in, another body, another Mark II body. No, pro no problem there. Also, there is enough room for the 7200 F4 FE lens to go in either one of these. So you could actually do this around. Now this, this lens is a little big, but easily would fit with wise right there. So that, that's another option for you. But you have plenty of options. Uh, they do make a insert, lid insert, lid holder. I'm not really sure what you call it exactly that works but it, I just have the foam but other than that I mean you, you get an idea of what we can and can't do with this uh, I, I recommend this I think it's a good size uh, it's good dimensions and Pelican's a good brand leave me some tips below on what you normally carry you know I'd like to hear your your thoughts on Pelican cases or similar type cases for your Sony a7 series of cameras also, this would work just as well on the A6000. The A6000 right here would fit just remarkably, remarkably well. The A7 I've tested fits really good as well here too. I, I wish Pelican would have made this a little shorter, but you get what you get, and it's kind of hard to find extra dividers or, you know, I haven't found anything that I'm aware of that makes this shorter to make this a little bit easier. You know, alternatively, I could have just took, made this straight, put in more dividers, and transported the camera without the lens. But I always, for some reason, I always like to put a lens on the body when I put them in a case. That way, when I pull it out, I'm ready to go. And I just, this is the way I happen to organize it.